Wake up with Davina and Fareed on Capital in the Morning Show. This industry is hardcore. And as a woman, as a, a blonde Mzungu, do you think uh, that's had anything to... Was it, Did it help? Did it hinder you? I think it helped me a lot. Really? Uh, yeah, because I think I'd had the exposure of Europe and I'd had the exposure of media in Europe. Okay. And then coming here and wanting to bring rock... I mean, the idea was to bring rock to, to Kenya. Um, and being a choice of music that you could listen to. You know, my world was all music and tuning into radio in the mornings, um, tuning in in the car, wherever you were listening to radio. So I think that it was received so well. I remember Michael Joseph of Safaricom once saying that Kenyans have peculiar habits. Yes, that was about the, the, the call, the yeah. times they called people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the great thing about Kenyans having peculiar habits and not being loyal to one brand is that if you introduce new things to them, they absolutely love it. So when we introduced rock um, and rock night at Carnival, <gasps> I mean, they just completely loved it. Oh, my Kenyans, God. It was so easy to do. I mean, if, if you think about rock as Capital was the first taste of rock that, that the average Kenyan radio listener got, then a rock station was then created at Radio Africa that played just rock, XFM. And that's incredible. That would ne have never happened if this station hadn't come into the market when it did. That, to me, is incredible. There was actually a station dedicated to rock music, which would have never existed without Capital FM yeah, having paved the way. Yeah, can you imagine that? No, it's, it's unbelievable. In 1996, yeah. there was no rock music. No. There was no really foreign music here, and it was sort of frowned on. I mean, even when Chris bought the station in 2002, he, s he said, I'm going to take all that sort of Karen housewife Mazungu music <laughs> off air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And put and, some decent and Kenya music And on. funnily enough, the chairman grew, uh, Chris Kirubi grew to love rock. I mm. mean, he used to come and sit here on The Fuse, which is the show from 10 to 2, which plays rock every day at one point to sit with the girls and listen to rock he started to really love it he listened he actually listened and said hey wait a second this actually works and then obviously uh, kept the format uh, you know i would say as best as he could to what it was we haven't you know we haven't watered it down and i think that would have been the big fear you might have had linda when when you sold the station is that because this was a you know a, 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 yes of course you know it was a it was a business but it was also a passion project for you i'm, I'm assuming right oh it was complete passion i mean it really was one of the highlights of my career and my life and still is and I'm so proud of Capital and so proud of everybody here and the team I mean it's an amazing team and you're still managing to go on today <laughs> all of you people are doing so well let me tell well. you and we are one big family yeah. yeah and I think we always will be one big family all the events that we ever yeah. had at Carnival or road shows we had I mean everybody came and they weren't there to work they were there to be part of the team and part of the family and I think that was my job to bring everybody together but it was to identify your talents and then train them and make you the best that you can be yeah and and, and you talk about that that family feeling and, and mm. Babs will tell you anyone here will tell you we still we still hold on to this here you know what I mean we really are we call ourselves the capital family if we are going somewhere we go together and that was something that you started which was also unheard of then as well was that you do be, a business is a business but the business can be a family as well and yeah, we've kept it's it. totally a family. You have to make everybody feel that they're part of the business and they're part of the company and they had take ownership of that business. And because they did... And look, I walk in today <laughs> and Chep and Esther, the coffee girl, is still here <coughs> after 25 years. That's Can incredible. Can you believe that? Incredible. I mean, we're all going around with our Zimmer frames, but, <laughs> but they're still here. Yeah. That's amazing. It is incredible. It is. It is